Good morning and welcome to a mid-June Monday morning motivation. My name is Dan, delighted to spend a little bit of time with you today. In fact, the next couple of weeks, we're really, really going to be kind of focusing on how to deal with and overcome disagreement, differences, and challenges. Uh, I, I would suggest to you that our organization is in a heightened mode of challenge with some, and um, I'm delighted to offer you some tools that, that you can utilize to, uh, to come together and ultimately create a better tomorrow. One of them I want to focus on today deals with you and deals with me, and it's called taking an internal vacation. Uh, you know, vacation time, normally we schedule it out in advance. We look forward to it. Many times we're taking trips in the post-COVID days, right? You can get out there and get after it again. Uh, or just having kind of quiet time can be a, a really valuable experience. But that being said, I want to talk about taking an internal vacation. And that, that term's unique. But what an internal vacation is, is looking at a typical week and plugging in a couple of things that you enjoy doing that are away from whatever it is you need to do work-wise. And let me give you a couple of examples. Um, I worked with a, a leader with, that works for us who at noon, she would leave the building, head out her front door, and for 30 minutes, she was not available. She was gone. Uh, she was walking, she was contemplating, she was thinking not about work, uh, about life and some other things. And she would come back 30 minutes later, refreshed, reset, and ready to go. So that would be, that would be one example. Uh, for some of you, it might be gardening. It might be every Tuesday and Thursday at 4.45 p.m. you go out in the backyard and garden or water, but it gets you into nature and gets you away from, from the thought of work. For many of us, it might be exercise in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening that enables us to make an investment in ourselves physically, but here's a big one, mentally, allows us to kind of reset, reset ourselves and, and, and be in a better state of mind. Internal vacations are always of our making. They're always of tremendous value. But if they're not scheduled, they'll probably get crowded out. So what I would recommend that you get good at is turning off teams, turning off Outlook, and going and doing your thing. I'm not a big fan of being available 24 hours a day. I would suggest to you that if I have to be available 24 hours a day, Whoever I have to be available for is probably not a very good leader because why would they need me 24 hours a day? Anyway, I could go on there, but I won't. Um, that being said, I would also encourage you to take a look at your meeting routine. Are there any meetings that you're in that you could easily just receive a memo as to what happened and it would save you 30 minutes, 60 minutes? And again, I recently got out of two meetings that I was in because quite frankly, they just weren't worth the time. And of course, I didn't let the other person know that, but I suggest that I've got some other priorities that I have to work on. If you'd please send me a little bit of an update, um, I'd sure appreciate it instead of me attending. Now, I know that all of us don't have the ability to do that, but here's my point. If you can lessen your sitting and meetings routine, it will also free you up to do other things. And one of those things might be a short internal vacation. It might be a 15 minute walk. It might be a chance to sit in your backyard and read for 10 minutes and come back completely refreshed. So here's my point. All effective leaders, as I see it, take internal vacations. They take them every week. And what those vacations do is they recharge and they refocus and they put them mentally in a much healthier frame of mind than just showing up to work in the morning, working all day into the evening, never leaving your office, and then tur turning it off and doing it all again tomorrow. I want to encourage you to be more of a long-term investor in yourself than that and set out and carry out internal vacations. And if you'll do that, my promise to you is you're going to feel different, you're going to be sharper, you're going to think better, and you're going to make better decisions. So. Message for you today, if you would please, take a look at scheduling a couple of internal vacations uh, throughout the week and watch what happens. And then thirdly, or secondly rather, take a look at your meetings. What meeting are you in that you don't need to be in? I would encourage you to politely see if you can get out of it. Thank you very much. Have a great day.